The Prime Minister's most pressing problem is the headache over Craig Thompson and the Fair Work Australia investigation. After weeks of controversy, the new head of Fair Work Australia went public for the first time today to explain why the Thompson investigation took three years. A short time ago, Fair Work President Ian Ross joined me from Canberra. Justice Ross, you've agreed that the three years taken by Fair Work Australia to investigate the Craig Thompson matter is too long. Why did it take all that time? Well, the reasons for the time taken are being investigated at the moment by an independent review by KPMG. That review is due to report by the end of July and uh, no doubt it'll shed some light on the question you've just raised. As President, though, have you looked into this yourself and can you identify uh, on your own any institutional failings? Um, no, I, and I, I might say I haven't looked into it and there's a very good reason for that. Um, the, it's important to appreciate that Fair Work Australia has really two arms. The adjudicative arm, which is the tribunal functions, uh, which I'm involved in, and the administrative arm, which is headed up by the general manager. This investigation was uh, conducted under the Registered Organisations Act and is solely a matter for the administrative arm of Fair Work Australia. It actually has nothing to do with the tribunal arm. Why will you share the view that you think the process took too long, yet you won't be drawn on why it might have taken too long because you say, well, that's not part of my bailiwick? Oh, it's simply a question of looking at the objective facts, Lee, about when the investigations commenced and when they concluded. And I'm really reflecting on the public commentary around those issues and the commentary in the media. There is a widespread view that it has taken too long and that, has, that issue has caused reputational damage. And I, I accept that that's the case. Can I ask, do you believe that Terry Nassios conducted a fair and impartial investigation on behalf of Fair Work Australia? Well, as I said in my testimony to the Senate Estimates Committee this morning, uh, there's been an allegation of bias made against Mr Nassios. Uh, the point I made was that the appropriate place to test any such allegation is in a court of law. Um, the matter ultimately will end up there uh, when proceedings commence in relation to the National Office of the HSU. Now, that court will be the federal court. Uh, I'm a judge of that court, so it's not appropriate for me to comment on uh, any of those issues or the merits of any of those allegations. Let me ask you, though, in your capacity as President of Fair Work Australia, do you stand 100% behind the report uh, into Craig Thompson and the HSU? Lee, as I mentioned before, the report has nothing to do with me. It's not uh, a function that's conferred on me as President and I can't separate uh, my roles in the way you've suggested. Do you accept that the public might find it um, confusing that you're the president of Fair Work Australia, mm. yet you point out that there's a couple of arms and, and one arm's mm. totally separate to the other arm and you're not responsible for one arm even mm. though you're in this senior role? Oh, I agree entirely. Uh, I think uh, there is a, a significant amount of public confusion about this issue and it's for that reason that uh, uh, I've advocated both before the Senate Estimates Committee this morning uh, and publicly for greater legislative clarification around this issue. In my view, there needs to be a clear distinction in the legislation between what are the functions of the tribunal on the one hand and what are the functions of the administration. Last week in his address to the Parliament, Craig Thompson said he wanted Fair Work Australia to answer whether Michael Lawler, Vice President of the organisation and the partner of Cathy Jackson, had any influence on the investigation. You've said today that because you've not been presented with any evidence of wrongdoing and because Mr Lawler is a sworn judicial officer, you won't be investigating Mr Thompson's allegation. In the interests of complete transparency, isn't there merit in some level of investigation into those allegations? Well, Lee, um, the point I was making this morning is that it's not a matter for me. Um, again, uh, I'm not um, the head of a political party and Vice President Lawler is not a backbencher. He's an independent judicial officer. I have no powers of discipline uh, over him. Those powers reside in the Parliament and that's what the statute says. You yourself today uh, said in your statement before the Senate Estimates Committee that public confidence in a justice institution is enhanced yes. by increased transparency and accountability. Wouldn't the allegations against Mr Lawler be a perfect opportunity to put that into practice, regardless of who investigates it? Well, the question of who else might investigate these isn't a matter for me. The point I made also 
is that I, I believe that a more uh, transparent and accountable complaints mechanism in relation to tribunal members would be appropriate. If we accept that there is no evidence that Mr Lawler influenced the investigation, nonetheless we have seen evidence that Mr Lawler has been involved in making a, a police complaint against HSU officials, that he had access to documents relating to internal HSU politics. In your view, is that appropriate for a member of Fair Work Australia? Well, I've not seen any of those uh, matters, Lee. Can I make two general points? As I put to the Senate committee this morning, uh, workplace relations is a contentious field. Uh, there is often a vigorous debate about uh, where the appropriate balance lies between the interests of employees, employers and their representatives. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate for either myself as president or any member of Fair Work Australia to enter into that public debate. Uh, I propose to limit my contribution to uh, those matters that affect the independence and standing of the tribunal, and I'll continue to do that. And the second point is, as I've said, um, it is not a matter for me uh, to investigate or discipline a member of Fair Work Australia. That is not the function that I have under the statute. That is a matter for Parliament. But you've said that you are concerned with uh, matters to do with the standing and the reputation of the tribunal, and surely I these am. matters go enormously to the standing and reputation uh, of Fair Work Australia in the eyes of the community. Look, I accept that, Lee, but my point to you is that that's not my function under the statute. I'm not a free agent to wander wherever I wish to go. So that must be pretty uh, frustrating for you because you're agreeing with me that there's a real problem of reputation and standing, yet you're saying, hang on, I'm the president, I can't do anything about it. Well, I can't do anything about this particular uh, issue that you've raised, but I can do other things to address the reputation and standing of the tribunal. And I've indicated what I intend to do about those. I will be meeting with members of the tribunal over the course of the coming weeks. I will announce in early July the series of measures I intend to take to address the broad issue of reputational damage. And they will go to things like accountability, transparency, timeliness and the like. That is what is within my control and I certainly intend to do something in those areas. The matters you've raised are simply not within my control. They're within the control of Parliament and the parliamentary process. How bad do you think the reputational damage is? Oh, I don't... Um, I think that's a matter for others. I, I readily accept that there has been um, some reputational damage caused to the organisation as a result of the time taken to conduct these investigations. And is that fair enough, do you think? Well, as I've indicated, uh, it seems to me uh, that the time taken uh, has been too long and I think the time taken to investigate these matters raises legitimate questions about the process. Justice Ian Ross, thank you very much for making time to speak to us tonight. Thank you very much, Lee.